All right, guys, today we are going to uh, re-thread the uh, engine block on the loader outside. I was uh, putting the water pump in and one of the bolts had cross-threaded and it's something that we all don't wanna have happen to us is uh, cross-thread a bolt inside of an engine block. But there is a fix and if you're having this problem, I'm gonna go over a couple of things that you can do to uh, retap the block or get the uh, water pump back on if that's the problem you're having. Or maybe it's not a water pump, maybe it's something else on your engine. Um, so for some of you that are familiar with tap and die kits, this might be a little bit boring in the beginning and you might wanna skip ahead. But those of you that aren't, I'm gonna try to explain what's what on these things first. And then we're gonna get into tapping the uh, engine block out there. So let's get into it. This is a tap and die kit. All right, this is actually a metric kit. They sell these in standard and they sell them in metric. So when you come across a situation where you have cross threaded a bolt, the first, there's two things you wanna find out. One, is it metric or is it standard? Or, and two, what is the actual size of it? Now this is a metric. Usually you can tell by how fine the thread are. Standards are a little bit taller and a little bit spread out more to a little bit more rough thread. And this is a metric kit. So we know this is a metric bolt. And to figure out the size, not everybody's going to have one of those thread checkers at home that you can screw this into. It's worth the time just to run out to Home Depot or Napa, any local auto parts store that has a thread checker and say, hey, can you tell me what size bolt this is? The reason because, especially with an engine block, you don't want to try to find a tap if you don't know what size it is and eyeball it and say, oh, I think this is it. Uh, and then go tap your engine with that only to find out you use the wrong tap. And then you're really screwed. And then you're either junk in your car or whatever. So it's very important. Find the right size. Make sure it's metric or it's standard. And then uh, get, the, get the proper stuff. Another thing too is to get, if you're going to buy a tap and die kit like this, there's a lot of really inexpensive ones and then there's um expensive ones like this one this one is a titanium kit i'll show you uh titanium nitride tap and die set metric all right and it'll buy, once you find your bolt size too it'll tell you all the sizes that it has in here all right but if you buy a cheap kit you're really playing with fire because these things if you're not tapping them correctly, will snap inside the block also, and then you have huge problems just trying to get that out of your block. So buy a strong, durable tap and die kit. Spend the extra money, um, you know, the extra 30 bucks for a good kit rather than hey, say, hey, I found a kit for 10 bucks. All right, moving forward. This is the cross-threaded bolt. This is a 10 by 1.25. Now these are your dies up here. These are your taps down here. When you're doing a bolt, you want to use a die. Now, so we want the 10 by 1.25. Oh, there it is right there. So if you're going to try, if you're not buying a new bolt, and you're going to try to re-thread this one, what you can do is if you have a simple vise like this, put your bolt in the vise, and then you have your die in your hand, and it's, your kit is going to come with a tool. This kit, you can see this is too big for that. But it comes with an adapter and you'll see the three holes the hole in the center of this is going to go right there inside of that little groove right there all right so we're going to take our hole in the center and we're going to line it up with that groove and obviously on here you're going to go with the center bolt to line up with the center bolt on there all right and we're going to lay that over top then go ahead and when you screw this in, this will go through here into that little groove into your die there. Screw the side ones in. Now we take our tool, and this is a right threaded bolt, which means when we tighten this thing, we turn it to the right. So when we put our die on here, we are actually going to turn this to the right. So you want to make sure that you set this on nice and straight before you start turning. You don't want to be on an angle or anything. You want to set it on nice and straight to get it started. And just turn it very lightly to make sure it's starting to thread on. And we're gonna thread this down. Now what you can do 
You just take a little bit of WD-40. You can squirt it down on there on the threads. Uh, just gives it a nice cleaner cut and it helps grab some of that metal that's gonna peel off. And we're gonna turn this around. Now, if it's going on real tight, do it a couple cranks and then turn back counterclockwise and then go a couple turns and then back counterclockwise. And you're gonna do that all the way to the bottom of the bolt. Just get a nice clean cut there. You can see it's nice and shiny now. It's got nice new threads in there. Once you hit the bottom, now we're just gonna back it off. Take it all the way off. And there it is, nice shiny new bolt. I did my two bolts that were uh, cross-threaded on the water pump. The other two are out there, they're actually good. Now, we have to go to the engine block itself and we need to get, which would be a 10.125 uh, also. And uh, boop, 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 boop. there we go right there. This is gonna have to go inside the block. You're gonna need another tool for the end of this and the kit usually comes with something like this, um, which basically you would set this in there and then tighten these on the side and you can do the same thing like we just did with this. Problem with this is on an engine block, you don't have any room to turn because these start hitting things. Um, another thing you can do, which is what I do um, for the spot I'm in right now, is you if you have this quarter inch extension that would go on a ratchet drive, well, this fits perfectly on the end of one of these taps here. So I would put that tap there, and then I find I have a really small pair of vice grips, which I clamp right here on the end, and I use this to turn, which you'll see outside. All right, so here's our engine. Here is the two bolts that are okay, but over here, these holes got all galled up. They got cross-threaded. Now, the first thing you wanna do to prevent from breaking that tap when you're going in is find the hole obviously get a screwdriver or something see how deep that is stick it in there see where that stops kind of mark it with your finger pull it out all right so that's about that's how deep that hole is so you want to take note of that on your die hold it up to your die and you can kind of see and eyeball it so you know how deep you want to go that you have to go in with that because if you try going too too deep and this this uh tap is uh bottoming out and you keep cranking guess what you're gonna snap this right inside of the block so get an idea how deep you need to go and it looks like we're actually going almost to the end of this this tap here so now I have a good idea where this thing's going to bottom out at. Get some WD-40. Very important. And we're going to lube up the hole there. I know what you guys are thinking. Two dirty mines. But anyway, I'm going to squirt some oil in there. Take our tap. This is very, very important. Do not put this thing in crooked. All right? Just kind of... Eyeball it up, turn a little bit. You may have to shake your fingers a little bit, depending on how gaud up that hole is. But you definitely don't want to try to put this thing in sideways or not center. All right, it feels like I just grabbed on there and it seems to be going in straight there. Yep, that's good. Now I'm gonna take my extension and I'm gonna put the vice grips on it now on the end. Ah, nice and tight there and now we're gonna slide this on the end of our tap down there All right, we're on and now we're gonna turn Clockwise uh, Just to get that started and then we're gonna back it up just a hair Just like we did with the die inside turn Back it up, turn some more, 
back it up and you're going to do that all the way till this bottoms out the main thing is just when you're cranking on that thing and you feel it get tight make sure you back off a couple turns then go at it again definitely make sure there's some oil or lubricant in there and if that doesn't work or you end up breaking um a tap inside of the block uh, or whatever the situation may be, your last resort is going to be something like this. This is a fix a thread. Got this at Napa. This is a Healy coil kit. And essentially, what you're going to do um, is what these little coils do is you put them inside of the hole that's already there and it already has a new thread. Basically, on the inside of it so your bolt will go right down the center of that coil and it will create a new thread for you that's a totally separate video i did one already if you want to search my channel for healy coil but that will be your last resort if this tap and die option doesn't work go with the healy coil and that's it guys that's how you use a tap and die kit in a nutshell and uh please hit subscribe below give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll see you guys next time and I'll see you guys next time.